Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another business slash stock market video, um, and, and just really a breakdown for YouTube content creation, and just a little bit of information that you may find useful if you want to get on YouTube and use YouTube as a platform to give you another stream of income, doing some of the things that you already love to do. Um, YouTube is a major opportunity for a lot of people. Almost any and everyone should be on YouTube, could be on YouTube, actually making some income and some revenue from some of the things that you just enjoy doing already, some of the things you enjoy talking about already. Um, that That's what YouTube is about. It's just, it's just an opportunity to connect with people with similar mindsets as you. Now, that being said, Sadly, like I, it's cringe to look back on this video, but what we're going to be going over is one of the most popular videos on this business channel here. And it is my Chris saying FTFT scam exposed. Get out of this play immediately. Is Chris saying a fraud? So as you can see, it's a crazy title. And at that point in time, this was this video was released three years ago. This was this was released in um 2021. So the thing at, about this is in that amount of time I've grown, I've grown as an investor, I've grown in the crypto space, and I kind of got into the position that Chris Sane has been in where he's trying to educate and help people understand and things like that. And it is a fine line because people tend to just try to follow every single move that you make and not try to educate themselves, but instead just try to do what you do and hope for the best. And I think he does sell some some stuff on the side where he he um, directly gives people stuff and stuff like that. But yeah, I was never I was never a part of that. I was just a fan of his videos in the past. Um, I still check in and watch one from time to time. He's a very knowledgeable guy. Um, and yeah, I, I do have I do have to you know apologize for that video that I made. I do want to give you all a little bit of info on it, and and so you all can see exactly what I made from it, like full transparency and everything. Um, so this, this is the video. Um, I published it in 2021. And as you can see here, um, I made $378 from this video at the time. I'm sure that I was excited. I got 267 subscribers. And at this time, I don't believe I had many subscribers on this channel, but, um, yeah. So all of this was a big deal at the time. I thought, Oh, I'm famous and, and stuff like that. And yeah, like this is not the way that you want to grow. Cause chances are this 267 people never watched another one of my videos because it's not relevant to why they subscribed in the first place. They probably assumed I would be some Chris Sane hate channel or something like that. And instead I turned into a crypto uh, guru or whatever. And yeah, and, and the money, I mean, it's, it's the things that Chris Sane actually teaches you in order to make money is a much better way to secure money and, and revenue than this one time, you know, cash grab type of thing. And at the, t at the time, it wasn't really, I didn't know that the money was would look like this. I didn't even know what was going to happen from it. So this was not calculated. I was just upset. I had lost money, I believe. And I was just giving my opinion on Chris saying, I was, I, I had started doing finance content. I'm like, you know what? I just lost money listening to him. Let me make a video on it now. These days, I kind of understand what he was saying. In, in the video, I believe I made a point where it's like, basically, Chris Sane can never be wrong because he tells people to put a stop loss on. So even if he's wrong, he's right because they won't lose that much money. And then fast forward to 2024, when I actually know what I'm doing, it's like, duh, that's the whole point of a stop loss in the first place. Like, so I'm sitting here criticizing a guy who's literally teaching people how to mitigate risk to the point where you damn near cannot lose in the stock market. And, and he's making it so he, he is like, if he's right, he's right. And you make money. If he's wrong, the stop loss kicks in. So you only lose a minimal amount of money. It's like, you can't really lose. So I didn't understand the amount of skill, knowledge, and information that it took to, you know, do these things at the point in time where I made that video. I was an amateur myself. I had I had made a little bit of money, but it was just luck. I put my money in the right place. I'm patient, calm, don't really panic. I let it sit and and see what it does and then I, you know, you know, it, it pays off. It, it's paid off. But um he explains so many details. He explains how people like the um the the whole numbers and things like that. How, why, why, um, he uses technical analysis, like simple te technical analysis. I just watched one of his videos, um, recently, a Google one where he saw the head and show reverse head and shoulders pattern 
that it's convinced him that it's going to make a run up within the next two months or so here. So, yeah, I mean, I, I see the things that he do now, he does now, and it's like, man, like, this is actually solid. This is how, how I learned from my mentors. This is some of the things that I've been taught over the years that's helped me be successful in crypto and that's helped me, you know, make better decisions when it comes down to my own investing. And at the time, I was so ignorant that I couldn't understand a lot of the stuff that he was saying, a lot of stuff that he was talking about. So I, I misjudged him and I was frustrated because of my lack of knowledge, because I didn't want to pursue or, or you know, learn more at the time or invest in myself and try to get coaching from him or talk to him or anything like that. I didn't put any effort into actually trying to, to you know, grow myself. I just wanted to vent on the internet and, you know, post a quick video about it. But so, so yes, I am sorry for that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for, uh, you know, just approaching things in that way. It's, it's not worth it. It's more, it's more valuable to actually learn, learn information and learn knowledge that can make, make you feed yourself forever. You know, like the information is much more valuable than just these, you know, these cash grab type of things. But um, that being said, if you see the performance of the video here, the RPM for this video is $11. So just using his name gets you, and the stock market in general gets you insanely high um, RPMs. Now, this is this is very huge. This is $11 per thousand views. So that that's essentially what that what that equates to. Now, to for a reference, I have a I have a bigger channel with hundreds of thousands of subscribers that has one dollar per thousand views. Um, and then I have another channel where it's like five dollars per thousand views. Um, so yeah, it, it fluctuates heavily between channels and topics, but business and the stock market and stuff like that is definitely a very respected uh, market on YouTube that comes with a lot of that, that comes with a lot of um opportunity and a lot of money. So yeah, that being said. You definitely want to um you definitely want to get look into the stock market, maybe look into doing content here if you are looking to be a content creator because it is worth it being in a niche. And to be fair, Chris Sane probably makes a ton of money. Like obviously I just made a video using his name. He actually is his name. So uh, chances are he he's seeing crazy results like this every single video and you can see what one video one video made and this is pretty much the type of views that he averages every video so i mean if you want to do the math every single day he's making like what 400 bucks on every single video he posts you know i mean that kind of adds up so his youtube success is massive um his success as an investor he he very clearly seems to know what he's talking about he's been selling these plays and stuff like this for a long time now he stayed consistent and he stayed present he stayed here so he's not one of these guys that's come around made a name and then kind of just disappeared he stayed around stuck around even through videos like this coming out about him um he stayed doing his thing because he knew the truth like um i was ignorant at the time he never replied i i, I never at least i never saw a reply i was very ignorant at the time and yeah i was one of the people making one of these you know foolish videos from a place of ignorance myself so yeah like i got a, i got a lot of respect for for him um i definitely just wanted to you know speak on this you know accept uh accountability for my mistakes in the past because looking back on it, it's like every time i go to my most popular videos on my channel and i see this video it's like uh it's a bittersweet thing because it reminds me of where i started but then i look at it like man i was a noob what was what was i talking about and it, it, Chris Sane was actually my favorite YouTuber, period, back then at that time. And I was very disappointed. And and But to be fair, that's how I am. It's like, I've always been that way. Like, I'm learning, I've learned to be a little bit more at peace and a little bit more open-minded to things these days. But back then, being mad at something always pushed me to be better. Like, I, that's, that pushed me to jump into crypto take it serious, learn how to trade, learn all these different skills and learn all this information that like being mad at him, like, oh, I'll never be somebody like him. I'll never do this. Then fast forward, when I finally start getting good at what I do, I am kind of just like him. I do the similar things to, to what he does. It's like, I say similar things and, and I get similar backlash as well. So if people lose money or, or they lose and, and, they're not, they try to just copy what I do, when, which I always say, I personally say, don't copy what I do. Don't do what I do because in the crypto space, in the crypto space, it's just risky. 
you never know what's going to happen in the crypto space. The stock market is more, you know, it's more history there. It's more, it's been there for a while. You can kind of, you know, you can kind of tell what's going to happen in the stock market a lot, a lot easier than you can in the crypto market. So I tell people, don't follow me. Don't do what I do and things like that. And then when they try to make the moves that I make, not they, they know when I get in and stuff like that, but they don't know when I exit. They don't know how I move when I'm in there. Like they, they can't do what I do because they don't know why. So I'm known for, I guess people want to say that they're taking losses because of me, but yet with my moves that I make, I have rarely ever taken losses. I usually always come out very highly in profits. So yeah, it's like, I, I kind of get it from his perspective now where um, this is why he tries to teach stop losses and tries to teach people the information and the knowledge. That way you all can learn to kind of feed yourselves instead of relying on him to, you know, do everything for you because that's no way, that's no way to approach things. And I, I wasn't, I don't believe that I was wise enough to really teach people how to, you know, do it fully themselves the way that I, I would like to, I don't, I, you know, I don't teach it in the ways that I, I, um, I'm not a master. I'm not a master. Like this, th throughout these processes, these last three years, I've been learning, I've been learning, I've been improving and I've just been doing things. So really my videos are me explaining what I'm doing more so than, you know, me, me saying, oh, this is, this is what's going to happen based on this level of technical analysis or anything like that. It's like, no, I'm usually more of a fundamental investor. So I believe in the vision that's, that's provided by the team. And if I think the team is trustworthy, that's what I've gone by. Now I know a little bit more technical analysis. I have traded a lot more this year than I ever have before. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I had some mentors who's, who's helped me along the way and improve and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just been a long journey, but looking back on this video in particular, uh, uh, you know, among this journey, I can see where I went wrong. And yeah, I just wanted to rectify that and also make a, a great YouTube video, share shedding some light on how much money you can make in the finance niche, talking about the stock market and, you know, show, show some respect and, and apologize to uh, Chris Sane within this video. So yeah, that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. It was just kind of literally, literally like a commentary, little rant type of thing. Um, and just little, little kind of informative videos, but let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.